After I did that last uh, nine torque wrench review, I had somebody reach out to me in the comments and they said, hey, we know it's not scientific, but can you at least test the repeatability of all of those torque wrenches in the video? And I'll be honest, at first I really didn't want to because look, I get it. This is not an accurate measurement compared to some scientific, uh, official, whatever tool you use to measure torque on a torque wrench to certify it. Uh, but in talking to them, I guess in some sense, it at least makes sense because this is a pretty accurate tool. It does have a digital readout and at minimum, it at least gets us close to seeing if some of these are repeatable. I am not, however, going for accuracy. Okay, so if you are trying to, you know, use this as an accuracy gauge compared to the plus or minus that the manufacturer states, um, you know, that's totally different and, and I wouldn't imply that in any way. I'm simply looking at the repeatability of the average idiot, me, uh, applying force against the torque wrench. So first we are going to start off with the fix it sticks. Here we go. This is the fix it sticks. So I'm going to do my best to be smooth and consistent. And actually to make it easier to reach, I'm gonna put it on this end. All right, so I'm just gonna, even though I've got this clamp down, I'm still gonna hold it. And I'm just going to go nice and slow. Okay, so there's where it popped at 16.6, 16.7, 16.8, 16 17.7, let's go a little further out. 17, 7, 18. Now, if I change 16, 7, or 16, 9, 16, 7, 16, 5, 16, 6. So, really consistent. Again, we're not out to, you know, say whether it does or doesn't meet the actual torque because, you know, this is what it is. But, uh, I do get really consistent results uh, when I go nice and slow with this one. So uh, let's see what's up next. I think we're going to do the CDI. And this is the CDI. Now I have it set to what should be. Let me get up here again. So this is on 15. And I am going to just take it nice and easy here. 14.5. 15. 15.5. 15, 15.6. 15, 14.5. Fifteen two. So, also, uh, you know, pretty consistent. There was one, one or two that were high, uh, but you know, again, I'm at a weird angle for the screwdriver part of it, uh, and I'm not trying to justify anything. I'm just saying this is a very unscientific test. Uh, but uh, I did feel like I could get pretty consistent results out of this one. Uh, so, not bad. Let's go to the Effetto Mariposa. Now, if you remember, this one is the, I'll just call it the least accurate to set. So I'm going to do my best here. Uh, I have it somewhere between one and two. Oh, wait, I'm going to put, sorry, this one is Newton meters. So I'm going to try to get close to two. This is just on the underside of two Newton meters. Two Newton meters is about 17.7 .7 inch pounds. So with any luck, this is slightly under. And let's just see here. 15, 2, 18, 1, 18, 8. Uh, that one, in all fairness, I wasn't pulling very consistent. Okay. 
19, 1, 18, 8, 20. And, uh, you know, this one, just by nature, the fact that it's a, a snap neck one, um, you know, you can over torque very easily if you're not paying attention. 21, 19, 6. 20.2 okay so at least you know with this average idiot using it i'm not getting very consistent results um, i am just for fun i'm going to try holding it more in my hand here and just see if we can get slightly better results 17 3 14 6 15 9 16 17, 2, 18, 6, 14, 3, 14, 2, 15, 5. Yeah, this one, you know, like, I, it seems like it wants to go in ranges, but um, really easy to apply a little bit extra torque on this one just because, you know, when it snaps, um, you got to stop. So, uh what do I got next? Let's try the real Avid. Uh, there is the real Avid. I am going to put it on what should be 15. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the CDI and the others. 15.8. 15.5, no, that one was my fault, 16.3, 15, 15.8, 15, 15, 15.7, 15, so this one, 15.6, so, you know, surprisingly, for being as inexpensive as this one is, very repeatable. Uh, again, we're not out to debate the merits of, you know, its actual accuracy, but in terms of my ability to easily repeat uh, a number at a given torque, uh, this one's really good. So I'm really happy with that. All right. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, let's go for the Topeak Torque Stick. There is the Topeak Torque Stick. I'm going to attempt it using the fingerprints that it has. Uh, I am set to two Newton meters, which should be right about 17.7. .7. So if I pull, 19.9 is where it's breaking. 21. 23. 18, 8, 19, 5, 21, man, 23, 23, 23, 24. So this one, I am definitely struggling, uh, you know, and as much as I can test it to keep an accurate repeatability, um, it did seem to want to be up a little bit higher, not necessarily anywhere close to what the Newton meters convert to. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it did seem like it held uh, some range uh, once I got sort of a consistent feel. But, you know, either one of these, because of the way they're, a, a, you know, a breaking head style, uh, you really have to watch yourself to make sure that you are not uh, over torquing. Uh, let's see, what do I have sitting here now? Let's try the Vortex. Here we have the Vortex. Let's get this one set. We're at 10. Let's go. 15 seems to be like a good number for us. All right. There's that. Fifteen eight, fifteen six, fifteen one, fifteen six, fifteen five, fifteen, 
15 1 15 1 14 7 15 2 so this one seems like I could keep it in a pretty good range um, you know uh, I'm pretty happy with how that felt uh, just for fun I'm gonna turn this one up a little bit let's just see what it does at 25 26 9 26 4 26 6 25 5 25 9 so even at higher ranges it's you know maintaining a really good accuracy so I'm actually really happy with this one as well uh, next up is going to be the Weeha. Here we go with the Weeha. I have it set to 16. All right. Seventeen one. Seventeen. Seventeen one. Seventeen three. Sixteen eight. Seventeen one. Wow, this one's really good. Uh, really good repeatability. Uh, you know, definitely near the top, I'd say, in terms of just anecdotal repeatability here. Uh, you know, like I've said before, we're just doing the average idiot test, uh, you know, and me grabbing something and trying to be repeatable with it. This Weeha, as much as I hate having to have a separate, uh, you know, like we talked about, device for setting the torque and then having to have a different insert and all that stuff, uh, it's sort of a pain, but, uh, you know, it, it appeared to be very repeatable very easily. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, all right, I am going to grab the Nico. Here we are on the final one, the Nico. Uh, as I said, I've, I've seen it branded as Mac as well. Uh, I'm going to do my best since, again, it doesn't have like an incremental number system, but uh, this looks to be about 15. Let's go ahead and stick our bit in. And this one's a little bit lower here, so give me a sec here. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Come on. Okay. 20.4. 20.5. 20.6. 20.7. 20.8. 20.9. 19.4. So... You know, definitely higher than what I think it should be. Uh, but, you know, it does seem to be fairly repeatable. I, I really hate this design personally. I know there's some guys that really like it. It is hefty. It does have a nice shaft on it. Um, and some people like things that are heavy with, you know, quite a shaft on it. Uh, it's great for getting into areas uh, without having to put an extension on. So I understand that, um, you know, it, and it's got good weight to it, even though it's got a plastic housing. But... Um, you know, I don't know. I just hate having to pull on this thing. So uh, anyway, there's all nine of them. That is my highly unscientific test. Uh, if anybody's watching who uh, has a better way that I can, as an average idiot, test this, I'm all ears. I'm happy to do this again. Uh, I just don't know any better way to do it right now. So, uh, you know, hit me up below in the comments. Tell me how dumb I am. Tell me what I did wrong or tell me this helped you. It's all good. We'll talk later. Have a good one.